Oh my god. That was so bad. Um, hey guys, what's up? Derek Sims here. Happy 4th of July to those that are celebrating. If you're like me, who is not celebrating, good for you. Um, got some re got a couple of reasons why I'm not celebrating the 4th of July. Mainly because it's my day off and I just want to relax, play some video games, and have a good day, enjoy myself. But there are reasons that I will not be going into for why I'm not celebrating the 4th of July. Um, to those that are, I hope you're staying safe, staying hydrated, and having a good day. This video is one that I am super excited for. But at the same time, getting into the recording section of this and looking at the final result, I'm kind of bummed. But it kind of makes it pleasing in the end. So what we are looking at now is the beginning of a walkthrough. Earlier in the week, last week, or in the pa this past week, I posted a poll asking what color, red, blue, and black and white. And of course, blue and black and white was really close yet again. But thankfully, black and white won this time. So I feel really fortunate that I was finally able to make a black and white build. The problem is, when I did it, I made sure all of the flowers outside were very bright and pretty. Um, yeah, as you can see, they dead. All of these flowers are dead. Like, those flowers are supposed to be yellow. Those flowers are, well, the bushes are supposed to be pink. And those flowers, they're supposed to be a rainbow. So, yeah, I'm not pleased with that. I, and it, it's spring, so maybe it's because, maybe it's because they're not in bloom. But it gives the weird aesthetic, I guess, for um, black and white build, right? Because the flowers are technically black and white. I don't know. I'm not too pleased with it, but maybe if it blooms in the summer, it'll be fine. I got Derek Sims here. Even he's peeved about the flower situation. Oh my God. Anyway, this is a lovely black and white build. Two story, no basement. It is a one, two, it is a two bedroom, two and a half bath. There's a half bath on the main floor and a half bath. I'm sorry, no, there's two full baths on the second floor. So yeah, it's a two bed, two and a half bath with a laundry room, no basement. And it is somewhat eco-friendly, and I mean somewhat because there are solar panels on the roofing. We'll get to that later. Oh my god, what the heck is with the flooring? I want to say it's because of the heat, and it's spring, so I don't know what's going on with that. But I'm sure and hopeful that the inside is not dead. So, you walk in, oh this is better, okay, you walk in and be better. Um, to your right, you can see flowers galore. Cute little painting. And that right there, right over her, is the little door to the half bath that is on the main floor. Outside of that, you got a nice little sitting area right outside the kitchen. I don't know how many homes make this realistic. Like if anybody ever does these anymore, but I think it's an aesthetic to have a little seating area separate from the living room that you can just sit here. Like if you're baking something in the kitchen or you're waiting for something to get done cooking, you can just sit out here and just relax by the candles and smell the flowers, literally smell the flowers. Um, to your left when you walk in, you get an open concept living room and a dining room. That door right there goes to the laundry room, which is enclosed, and outside of that room, we have a lovely liquor bar wall. I thought about putting it right there, but when I saw how it would look right there, I was like, uh-uh, I ain't doing that. So I moved it somewhere closer where it's easy access to those that want it, 
when they're eating and drinking their dinners and stuff. So, yeah. Um, not much to say, really. Got a nice little table setting for eight. Got a nice china. And then to your left of that is the living room. Really am thankful that you guys picked black and white to win this build because when I did the first build and you guys picked purple by one freaking vote or so, which I'm thankful for, but purple was a lot harder to do. It took longer than I think it, what, a day or two? This took three days. I started this, I, <laughs> fun story. So when I posted this tweet, I had a hunch that black and white was going to win. So I actually started building this as a black and white build, hoping that blue would not take the lead and win. And then y'all kept tying it. So I'm like, shoot, what's going to happen? Well, my thinking was at the time, and this was like Thursday morning before the poll ended. If I remember it was Thursday, it was either Tuesday or Wednesday. I forget. Sometime this week. The, like within hours of the poll ending, I kept thinking, oh my God, am I going to have to do a black and white build and a blue build and do two videos in one day? I don't know. That was my thinking back then. But thankfully you guys chose black and white and I feel fortunate because I've wanted to do a black and white build for so long. I finally get to do it because I truly think it does showcase one of my greatest aspects of creation when it comes to building and furnishing a Sims house. The purple one was just too much, especially since there's not many purple options. So let us run, let us run, glide into the, the laundry room's not that big. You just got a narrow hallway and then you go over here to the corner, you get the stacked washer dryer combo with your essential needs right above. Simple, right? And in case you gotta wash something, you have a sink. And we out. Peace. Alright, let's walk over here to the bathroom. It's a half bath. And yes, it has windows. But it's not that bad, I don't think. I mean, you walk in, you got your toilet, you got your cabinetry for, you know, toilet trees. And then, I've never, <laughs> what the heck. Uh, I'll have to fix that later. That's weird. Um... Yeah, I've never really used that mirror before, but apparently I have it too low. That's why. Cool. I'll fix that later. But then you get the windows. I tried keeping them even, and I tried to make them not be too much of a hassle. Like, you can see, like, those windows, and then those windows. Those are the only two windows I've used for this build. And I'm not mad at it because it kind of goes with the flow, I guess. I don't know how to really explain it. Um, anyway, we're going to walk into the kitchen. We know how much I love an open kitchen. We love how I love having a chef's kitchen. So, obviously, we're going big. We got access to the backyard, stove, plenty of cabinetry plenty and for kicks and giggles because it's white it has white in it we're gonna put it we got some lovely art now for the art creations and the flowers I did have the black and white color selection there so all the flowers and all the art has black and or white in it somewhere so that's how it's allowed like what really kills me about this kitchen the best is this I mm -hmm. I love this. I love this so much. I really wanted to get one more cabinet right here above the fridge, but I can understand with how high and low it is. Like, look how close that is. It's just ugh, a little low. So we'll leave it. And that's okay for now. But it is what it is. And then I'm not mad. <sighs> okay. We, we're not going to get liquor. <clears throat> We are going to go upstairs to the second floor. Ooh. Hallway. And we have another little seating area right here. Just because. I don't know why. I just wanted to add it because it felt right. You can overlook, overlook, overlook 
bleh, overlook that little window. The curtains on these windows suck, so I apologize for that. But you can sit here and just smell the flowers again. And we added more flowers here because why not? Who doesn't love a good flower? Can you kind of tell I'm obsessed with gardening and flowers and landscaping? I want to say it's an addiction, but it's not really an addiction. Um, anyway, when you first come up this, ooh, when you first come up the stairs to the second floor, you're going to see a door right in front of you. That is going to be the office. So fun story. Last night I was putting the finishing touches on these rooms, and originally this room was going to be a child's bedroom, but a friend of mine I was on Facetime with it. One, of this, one this morning, she was like, you shouldn't make that a child's bedroom. And she's only saying that because I have the child's porta potty in this room. I'm like, they don't have a bathroom. So I turned this room instead into a nice little cozy office, which I think is perfect, right? I mean, that's like a gaming laptop. The mouse looks funky as heck. Oh, okay. Looks like a spider design, kind of. And yeah, I just tried making it spacious, comfortable. Yes, I even put a little love seat in here because sometimes you just need an app in the office and not at your chair. And I don't know why I added those luggage pieces. I just thought it would tie everything together for God knows what reason. Oh shoot, where am I at? I am. I don't know where. Hello. Okay. I gotta be careful with... I'm still figuring out all these camera controls, and it's been a while. So, you turn to your left outside, and you go down to your hallway, and you got three sets of doors. Uh, all right. This door right here goes to the child's bedroom. This door goes to the half bath. Actually, it's a full bath. And then to your left of that, next to this lovely fish tank, is the master suite with an additional master closet and an attached master bathroom. So let's take a look in there first. So I made this as adult friendly as possible. Everything, I think everything t ties together in this. The bedding ties with the windows. I'm not keen about the window treatments, but it is what it is. And I wanted to do something different, so I added a full wall-length mirror next to the master closet. And yeah, it's spacious. It's got room. It's enough to live. It's, I wouldn't say it's grand big, but you know, it's big enough to be a master bedroom for somebody or some couple, you know? And then you walk into here to master bathroom Again, with the, f the floor to wall mirror, I guess. And for whatever reason, I wanted to add plants above the mirror just because. Um, yeah. Oh, that's, that's, that's weird. Look at this. You can see the plant on the cabinet and then you look in the mirror and there's no tree. You just see the hexagon vase. Hmm, okay, weird. And then the other side of the bathroom, you get the tub shower combo with the robe, toilet, all that fun stuff. And if you're wondering why I have different rugs in areas like here and then here in front of the sink, I tried to keep these kind of rugs in an area where water is prone. So like at the back door, the patio door downstairs in the kitchen, the kitchen sink down there, the showers and the bathtubs throughout because they kind of look like something that would absorb water the most, but that's just, I don't know, it was a weird thought. So, oh well. <laughs> um, let us go see the child's bedroom real quick. This one took no time at all to, what the heck, why is he in the air? I have had trouble with that giant teddy bear so many times throughout this build. When it was in the other room, it had no arms. And now he's sitting in midair. I, I will make sure that is fixed before I upload this to the gallery. And if it's not, I apologize. We all can't be perfect, so it is what it is. 
Originally, that was the crib. Originally, I was gonna make this um, a crib for like a baby, but I decided against it last minute to be for a child because it's a bit bigger and it's got, Jesus, these camera views are really weird because it's got bigger furniture, more options for toys, more fun. Heck yes, I got Baby Yoda because Baby Yoda is everything. And sadly, I'm wearing my KK Slider shirt for this recording instead of my Baby Yoda shirt. But that's okay. There's always next time, right? Um, I think I did this little area justice, though. Like, I had a hard time trying to figure out what I want to put in these hexagon shelves. But I think adding the panda light, the dinosaur, a ladybug, a rabbit, a rabbit, and books tie it together for a child... It's not that bad, I don't think. Right? Okay, then. And then lastly, we got the additional bathroom. Here, with the windows, I didn't want to do the mirrors. Because, yeah. Yeah. I wanted to keep light, natural light in here, so I kept the windows as is, no mirrors. Added some pretty artwork because we need to liven up the space. Um, it was kind of challenging to put this room together because I think if I remember right, it was only nine tiles or 12 tiles. So I didn't have much space to work with. One, two, three. Yeah, I think it was 12 tiles. So. You're kind of crammed on space, right? <laughs> so, pretty much almost all the furnishings are the same in the bathrooms. Give or take a couple things, like a shower and all that. Where am I at? Oh, okay. Sometimes I forget that this house is backwards. Like, backwards. I don't know how to explain it. So lastly, before we end this walkthrough, we're going to walk outside to the backyard the now disappointment of this whole build, temporarily. So you walk out, you got a nice little bench with a wind chime, grill, a bike, bird feeder, and a bee house. So, fun story, I was kind of hesitating about the bees having a house in the backyard because, you know, I'm not keen about bees at all. But I figured with a gate and a bird feeder right there, I was like, okay, why not? So, it is what it is. And now, this, you guys may have seen my tweet yesterday. If you saw my tweet yesterday that I posted along with what I posted it on Instagram, on my, on my, bleh, I can't speak today, I apologize. On my Instagram page, you know what these flowers colors actually are. So, I don't know why they are black and white for this build at all. Although I did have, maybe maybe it's because I picked black and white that makes everything black and white. Hmm. Noted. Okay. Anyway, you guys know what they are supposed to look like. I will make sure to have a picture of those flowers in this video so you can see it. And yeah. Oh, before I forget. Up, 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 up. Oh, and the reason I didn't put flowers there, I don't know what my reason is. It's because it's the bathroom downstairs, and I thought I had another flower thing, you know, like that over here. Like, I thought I, ha I, thought I had one of these over here. I'll make sure that's fixed, too, but you get the... Where are my solar panels? Oh my god. This is ridiculous. Okay. So there are a couple things I still need to fix before I make this house on the gallery. Okay. I can't fix the color of the flowers. Oh, also, are you guys proud of me that I did a stone path? It's not the best. And the mailbox, why is it in the middle of the path? 
this video was a 50-50 fail and success. I'm just saying. Um, so, some of these things I pointed out in the video will be tweaked before it's up in the gallery. I don't know what the heck, what the heck's going on with that flooring? The, the, the concrete, what the heck? Okay, um, we're gonna wrap it up here. So, yeah. There were two giant solar panels here. There was another flower box there. Those flowers are supposed to be rainbow. These bushes were supposed to be pink. Those flower boxes are supposed to be yellow. The mailbox was not supposed to be in the middle of the walking path. But all in all, what do you guys think? Do you guys like this black and white build? I've been dying to make it, and I truly appreciate you guys for finally picking a black and white build for this video because... I think it was one of the funnest things I could do. And I'm thankful. I'm really thankful for that. So, if you guys want to download this video, <laughs> oh my god, if you guys want to download this video, I'm running on little sleep, so forgive me for stuttering and soaring my words a lot. I promise I'm fine. But, yeah, I'm, I'm lacking a little bit of sleep. So, if you want to download this house, if you want to download the house, it will be up in the gallery. Link will be in the description below. And until next time, this is Derek Sims signing off. And be sure you stay safe out there. And thank you for watching.